this is Sophie. Sophie owns a business which, to a trade buyer today, might be worth £20 million. But the business is growing, Sophie enjoys running it, at least most days, and doesn't want to sell yet. However, she would like the opportunity to take some money off the table whilst continuing to own the business and benefit from its future growth. Let's see how this could be done using private equity. To do a private equity deal, the business is sold to a newly formed company for the same price as the trade deal, £20 million. The company must raise £20 million and there are some costs of doing the deal, let's say a million pounds. So we have to find 21 million pounds to buy Sophie's company and pay the costs. Here's how we would do it. First, we find a bank willing to lend into the deal. Let's say the bank lends six million pounds. We then find a private equity investor who invests in both a loan to the company and shares in the company. Let's say a seven million pound loan and 400,000 pounds of shares, thereby owning 40% of the business. Sophie does the same as the investor reinvest seven million pounds into a loan and 400,000 pounds of shares, also owning 40% of the business. Finally, the management team who work with Sophie invest 200,000 pounds of their own money to own 20% of the business. So we have raised 13.6 million pounds of new money, six million from the bank, seven million as a loan from the private equity investor, 400,000 pounds of shares from the same investor and 200,000 pounds of shares from the management. We pay our costs of a million and Sophie takes out the rest in cash. 12.6 million pounds, but she still owns a 7 million pound loan in the business and 40% of that business. What happens next is that Sophie carries on running the business with her newly motivated management team. Over a three to four year period, they grow the business with the investor such that at the end of that period, the business is worth 40 million pounds, at which point all the shareholders decide to sell. Let's see how this would work. The bank debt most likely will have already been paid off but Sophie does need to pay off the private equity loan and indeed collect her own loan, together £14 million. That leaves £26 million of proceeds to distribute to the shareholders. 40% or £10.4 million to the private equity investor, 40% to Sophie for another £10.4 million and 20% to the management team for £5.2 million. So to recap, Sophie originally took £12.6 million of cash and then earned another £17.4 million. So Sophie has achieved £30 million, but also de-risked herself by taking some money early and has carried on running the business for which she gets a salary and also has a highly incentivized and locked-in management team to help her grow it. Remember, before they had no shares, but having put in only a £200,000 investment gets over £5 million back. They will be hugely incentivized to help Sophie drive the business forward to the next stage.